John with Advanced Vocal Exercises and in this video I want to go over the lip roll exercise. Uh, now you'll be able to do this on your own but I want to give you uh, an example of what we're using the lip roll for. So um, I mentioned when I did the long form exercise we, we talked about putting your uh, fingers up to your cheeks and pushing them up so that you get the and you've probably already gone through the lip, all, the lip roll audio program. And now I want to give you an example of uh, warming up using the lip roll and the long form scale, the octave and a half scale. Okay, um, you can either hold it with one hand or you may not need it. I don't need to hold my cheeks up. I can still get that vibration. It's kind of like that motorboat. Okay. Um, we're gonna do the long form octave and a half scale for this, and it's gonna sound like this. harder to keep the lip roll consistent when you get down to these lower notes because uh, the lower the note the it feels like the less air sometimes that it's required um, you know you're really opening up your voice and it's hard to compress that down and it's hard to keep that even flow of air so you know if you get down there and it's hard to maintain then, um, you know, you're dropping your jaw and it's, you can't keep the lips together like you could if you were up here. Um, you know, just take it easy. At least you know where your range is going to be and uh, you know your limits there. So that's the lip roll in a nutshell. And that is the single most wonderful way to warm up your voice just doing that. Uh, you can also use the lip roll if your voice is a little tired and uh, you, you haven't been singing in a while, or maybe you felt like you wore out your voice, just do the five tone scale. It sounds like this. The 
the scale is um, a little easier to just kind of uh, see where your voice is at. Uh, but the, this long form octave and a half scale is really designed to help you learn how to move through your bridges. Okay, so you may start out with the slower version of this. Uh, but once you get really comfortable with these scales, and you don't have to nail each individual note. The idea is to get you to go from it's to cover that space in between the octave and a half. Uh, but once you get a little bit more comfortable, you can move on to the faster version of this. And you know, you can just try it out. But the faster speed is gonna sound like this. It's just, uh, I like the faster one because that's ultimately where you wanna get your voice so that you can start to mix in between those bridges and really create the mixed voice. So, I uh, hope you found some value in this video. I hope that uh, you're able to do the lip roll easy and effortlessly. And um, leave a comment below the video. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching.